Hello everyone. Welcome to the series on dental trauma. Today we will discuss about crown root fracture. Basically crown root fracture involves fracture of enamel, dentin and cementum. It can be an uncomplicated crown root fracture with no pulp involvement or it can present as complicated fracture with an exposed pulp. The immediate management of uncomplicated crown root fracture involves temporary stabilization of the loose fragment to the non-mobile segment or to the adjacent teeth. In case of complicated crown root fracture, management depends on the stage of root development that is whether the tooth has an open apex or a closed apex. In immature tooth with an open apex, pulpotomy is generally recommended. While in mature tooth, with a closed apex, it is recommended to go with pulpectomy. Now coming to the definitive management of crown root fracture, there are several treatment options that include removal of coronal fragment and supragingival restoration, surgical exposure of fracture surface, orthodontic extrusion of apical fragment, surgical extrusion of apical fragment, vital root submergence and extraction. The first treatment option involves removal of the fractured segment and smoothening of rough margins. This is followed by temporary supragingival restoration. Then we have to wait 2-3 to three weeks for healing of the inflamed gingiva and once the gingiva heals, permanent restoration is done. This is indicated in superficial fractures not involving the pulp. In surgical exposure of fracture surface, the subgingival fracture is converted to a supragingival fracture with gingivectomy and osteotomy. It is indicated where the coronal fragment comprises one third or less of the clinical root. In orthodontic extrusion, the fracture is moved to a supragingival position orthodontically. It is indicated in uncomplicated crown root fractures where the coronal fragment is one third or less of the clinical root, vitality of the pulp is to be preserved and it is desirable to reconstruct osseous or gingival defects. In surgical extrusion, the fracture is surgically moved to a supragingival position. It is indicated in mature tooth where the coronal fragment is less than half of the root length and the apical fragment is long enough to accommodate a post-retained crown. In vital root submergence, the supraalveolar fragment of the tooth are removed while the root portion is kept in place and covered with a surgical flap. This is indicated in young individuals where the fractured tooth cannot be restored and width and height of the alveolar ridge needs to be maintained. Finally, extraction is the ultimate treatment option when no other treatment is feasible such as in cases of vertical crown root fractures. That's all about crown root fracture. In the next video, we will discuss about root fracture. Till then, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can download our app for more details and notes on dental and medical topics.